school is in the fourth grade, chapter four, or sorry, tra chapter nine, lesson three. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with number two. So all we're doing is, in order to get from 10 to 100, we had to multiply it by 10. So we're going to multiply the top by 10 as well, which just means 90 over 100. Okay, that's all we're doing, guys. Okay. Okay, or instead of doing 0 0.9, which would be in the tenths place, that would be 0 0.9, we would put 0 0.90, and that way the zero is in the hundredth place. It's that easy, guys, okay? So 0.2, we're going to put that either at 0 0.20, which puts the zero at the hundredth place, or we're going to put 20 over 100, okay? I promise it's that easy, okay? Again, 0 0.80 or 80 over 100, okay? You guys, let's do this one. So it says write the number as tenths in fraction form and decimal. So all we're doing now is we're taking those last zeros off. So 4 over 10 or 0.4. Okay, so we're going to take that last zero off. Okay, so now it's going to be 0.1 or 1 over 10. Okay, take that last zero off. So it's either going to be 0.6 or 6 over 10. Okay, Billy walks six tenths of a mile to school each day, right? Six tenths in hundredths form. So six tenths and you need to put it in hundreds form. You guys are gonna do that, okay? It's gonna be the same as these ones, guys, okay? Four states have names that begin with the letter A. This represents, ooh, 0 0.08 of all the states. So this one's a little bit different because it doesn't give you a zero as the last number, but that eight is still in the hundredths place. So it's gonna be eight, over 100. Okay. They tried to trick you there by not giving you one that ended in the zero. Okay. But eight is in the hundredth place. So it's going to be over 100. Okay. But you guys do number eight. You totally can. Okay. All right. We're going to go into the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check. Just like always. And we're going to go down to this power review. Okay. So Jesse won his race by three and 45th hundredths of a second. What is the number written as a decimal? Well, it's going to be three. We have the whole number. That doesn't change. And then 45. And as long as that five is in the hundredths place, which it is, that's it, guys. Okay? All right. Marge cut 16 pieces of tape for mounting pictures on poster boards. Each piece of tape was three-eighths of an inch long. How much tape did Marge choose? Well, three-eighths and... She did 16 pieces. I'm going to put that 16 over 1. Okay. Now we're going to cross cancel. So 8 goes into 8 once and 8 goes into 16 twice. So now when we multiply straight across, we get 6 over 1, which is the same as 6. So 6, and it's being measured in inches. Okay. All right. Of Katie's pattern blocks, 9 twelfths are triangles. What is 9 twelfths in simplest form? Well, 9 over 12. Well, so 3 goes into 9 and 3 goes into 12. So 3 goes into 9 3 times and 3 goes into 12 4 times, which makes 3 quarters its simplest form. Okay? A number pattern has 75 as its first term. The rule for the pattern is subtract 6. What is a sixth term? All right. So 75 minus 6. Okay. So that's term number one. Okay. This will be term number two. Okay. So let's do it. Let's go. Five can't take away six. 15 minus six is nine and six minus nothing is six. Okay, so now we're gonna subtract six and we're gonna get 
63. So we're going to circle that one because that's the third term. We're going to subtract 6 again, and that will get us 57. That's our fourth term. We're going to subtract 6 again, and that will get us 51. And that's got one more, one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to subtract six again, and that'll get us 45. So 45 would be our sixth term, okay? Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six terms, okay? 45. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 9.3. Come on back for 9.4. See you soon.